Okay, in this video, I'm going to like uh, explain what is the difference between significant figures and decimal place. Because some students actually like confused about this part. I think significant figures you will see in I'm not sure it's a modern max in form four or form five, but then it's from modern max. All right, decimal place. I believe you already see this one during form three, form two, or form one. All right, this is like. Uh, very simple. Alright, the the difference between significant figures and decimal place is decimal place is always calculated based on the decimal. I mean you will see a small dot over here. This one we call it decimal. However, in this case 27 you didn't see any dot. I mean the dot is like just like behind the seven. Actually you got a dot over here and then over here you got all the zero. Ah. Alright. For significant figures, significant figure is something like you will have how many number, right? Num okay, for significant figure is a bit different because when they calculate number, the G all, all the zero at the front here, they didn't calculate. But then the zero at the back, they do calculate as a number. Right? So, okay, so let's go through this few example. I hope this few example actually can help you like understand it better. Alright, so I'm going to use the blue colors to, to write the answer. Alright, let's see. You can see that both actually I use the same same example, so it's easier for you to differentiate. Alright, so let's say we got 0 0.001457. When we want to correct to the three significant figures, so what we need to do is I say all the zero at at the front here mean here is start with zero, uh, must be start with start with zero. So we never calculate this zero. So this one will be our first significant figure. This is the first one. First, second, and third. So three significant figures will, will get 0 0.00146. This is called three significant figures. So over here from here you can see you only have three numbers. One, two, three. Right? The zero at the front here we, we are not calculated in significant figures. Right. For decimal place it's quite simple. We know we always calculate from the decimal here. So, three significant figures, we start calculating the first one over here. This one will be the first one. So, first, second, and third. And then, if this number is, is less than five, then we, we just ignore this number. So, we've got 0 0.001. Alright, if this number is five or bigger than five, you have to round off, then you've got 0 0.002. Alright, so this is the difference. Do you see the difference? Yes, because decimal place, we start calculating the first decimal af after the dot. Right. But significant figures, we start calculate from the first number after all the zero. Right. Let's have a look on the sec second, num second example. So over here, correct this one into three significant figures, or it asks you to round off to three significant figures. So what you need to do is, you calculate like one. Okay, because front here do not have any zero, right? So this one will be our first number. So this one will be the first one. So we one, two, and three. And then normally I will draw a line. And then you see the number at the back here, is it five or bigger than five? If yes, you have to round off, meaning you add one to the five here. So you've got 18.6. So this is three significant figures. All right, for decimal place, yes. So what you need to do is, you start calculate the first number after the dot. Okay, the rule is always the same for decimal. So you got one, two, three. So you got the same thing. Five, six, eight. Alright. Let's have a look for this one. If the whole number, what happens to the decimal place and significant figures? Alright. If the for the whole number, you uh, the question asks you to write off the three significant figures. We always calculate this one as the first number. First. So one, two, it's not enough because we need 3, right? So I add a 0, add a dot here. So this is 27.0. Right, for decimal place, we always start calculate from the dot here. And this one over here is the first number. So we got 27.000. So you can see after dot, I add another 3 to 0 because it says live in 3. Oh, oh, sorry, writing error. This is 3 decimal place. Alright, so for significant figures, so let's say the question asks you to round off 27 to like 5 significant figures. So you're going to start calculating this one as the first one. 1, 2, so that means you have to add another 3, 0 at the back. So 
So your answer will be 27.000. So this is five significant figures. All right. So if the question asks about 27, round off to the uh, five decimal place. So it's very simple. After this dot, you just add five zero. Yes, this one called five decimal place. All right. So let's go through a few more examples before we end this video because this this part actually is quite simple but just some student maybe they feel quite confusing right for example we got this example okay let's say if i want two significant figures what i will got from here so if from here we got number so they will always calculate this one as the first one so we all got 8.0 so you see actually i have two number one two all right, I say the zero at the front here we never calculate, but zero at the back we calculate. This is the meaning. So let's say the question asks about two decimal places. It's very easy. So it's just 8.00. All right. So I hope you, you can understand why it's significant if decimal. Definitely decimal, I think you can easily understand because decimal, all the rule is the same. Significant figures, just sometimes it actually will be a little bit different. All right. All right. So, may, maybe just one more example. Okay, let's say we got 800453. Alright, this is a very big number. Alright, so if I want to round off this one into the four significant figures. Alright, this one will be a little bit different. If I want to round off to the four significant figures. So, because 8 is in the first number, right? So this one will be the first one. So will be so I start calculating from this one. One, two, three, four. I stop here. So I draw a line. This is five or bigger than five. I know I have to round off. But what happened after I round off? I will got eight zero zero five. Alright, but then I can't stop here. Why? Because this number and this number, the value is not the same. This one actually is eight million something. This one only eight thousand something. So the value is not the same me after I round off. It's not correct. So what we need to do is we have to change all the number here become zero. So this is what we call after we route off to the four significant figures. You will got something like this. I mean I say the zero at the back we do calculate. Alright? So okay, one one more similar example. So let's say we got seven, nine, eight, five, ten, uh, one, four, three. Okay, just a random example. Okay. I, the question asks you to round off to, let's say, one significant figure. So what will happen is, we start calculate the first is this one. So one significant figure means we only will left this one, but then we always have to draw a line. We have to consider this one have to round off or not. If yes, this one have to round off. Because 9 is bigger than 5, or yeah, it's bigger than 5, so definitely we have to round off. It becomes 8. Alright, but we cannot write 8 over here. Because this is 7.9 million, so what we need to do is we change all the number become zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. So become eight million. Alright, this is how we route off in the significant figures. Alright, so I hope this video can help you understand better about significant figures and decimal place. Just make sure you don't confuse yourself. Alright, thanks for watching.